Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we've got this sort of uh, special edition Saturday daily show um, that we are putting out for you guys um, because we just didn't really, we weren't really that content with the way the board was looking last night. Um, we couldn't provide six picks, which we wanted to do uh, on the weekends when we can. So um, I wanted to put out one more. Uh, Jordy was uh, unavailable today. But um, sorry that we're getting this out a little bit later, but I did try my best to uh, look for picks in the later window um, so there would be enough time for, uh, you know, viewers to uh, utilize these picks. Um, and I'm going to give you the picks up front just like last time um, for the sake of time. Um, before we get into all the picks, though, if you've never tried prize picks, use the promo code uh, to my left here and they will double your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. They're going to match whatever you put on. Um, so if you use the full hundred, you will get two hundred to play with. And um, if you're new to our channel, um, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and uh, you'll be notified as soon as we put these videos out because a lot of these props end up moving on us uh, pretty quickly so you'll want to be uh, kind of like you know in the loop when uh, we're posting these videos if you're subscribed and the notifications are on that's the best way to uh, stay up to date with that um, and if you guys don't mind liking the video as always we really appreciate it it's been awesome you guys have really been helping us grow the channel we appreciate the community so much um, and uh, last thing I'll say, um, we've been having all sorts of like uh, issues with, um, not, not like issues, but some people are having some trouble getting into the Discord. Um, if you use the link in the description of the video, and then you go to server subscriptions once you're in Discord, uh, that will unlock everything. If you have any issues, just email us at BDF, or I'm sorry, BD Fantasy Sports, so just like backdoor bdfantasysports at gmail.com and uh, we will handle we'll help you get that worked out um, and uh, cool so let's get into these picks we've got six games today we've got a fun NFL game tonight we're going to be mixing and matching um, so I'm going to give you guys these picks right up front if you want to jump into them go for it um, I will break them all down for you as well but um, if you don't like these just fade them guys um, you know, don't take them and then come back and then tell us how bad they were. Like you chose to t chose to take them. And I'm not trying to like go on a rant or anything. I'm just saying we say after every video, if you don't like these picks, fade them. Um, we're here to provide what we're getting into and why we like the plays. And um, it's up to you to decide what you want to put into your slip and put your own money on. Like, I, I don't know why this is an issue. <laughs> um, all right. So here are the plays I'm going to be running for you guys. First one I'm very excited about. Scotty Barnes over 51 and a half fantasy score. Um, next play, Tobias Harris. I'm so happy that this was on the board. Uh, over 36 fantasy score. We're going to be going with uh, Boyan Bogdanovich for over two and a half assists and Andre Drummond over 39 and a half fantasy score. Um, so, yeah, these are the four. Just want to give you guys a chance to take a look at those. And now let's break them down. Um, Let's start with Scotty Barnes, because that's in the, the first game. Um, so, yeah, for the sake of time, I'm going to try to break this down pretty quickly for you. Let's take a look at this over-under. We have an over-under of 231.5, with the Raptors favored by just 3.5. We talked last night um, with Cade Cunningham um, why we think this game could stay close, and their outing against the Boston Celtics recently that went to overtime. I think they're sick of losing, and they have a lot to prove. Their pride is on the line here. So I do expect the Pistons to be fighting to keep these games closer because they're just reaching an embarrassment level. Historically, you know, the worst losing streak in franchise history. So um, they can't just continue to be a laughing stock. Um, so anyways, I, I do like this game to stay close. Um, and, a, and a decent uh, over under 231 and a half. If we uh, take a look at Scotty here, um, they don't have a fantasy option on um, Outlier, so I'm just going to kind of break this down as usual, um, why I like this. If we look at his PRA, um, he's been doing pretty well in this category. He's actually been playing great. You know, they've been, uh, they've taken Dennis Schroeder, or Schroeder, I always mess that name up, but you know who I'm talking about. They've taken him out of the starting lineup and they're, they're bringing him off the bench and it's been working well for them. But part of that means that there's more ball handling for Scotty Barnes. Um, if you look at um, his production, has just gone up since they've done that. Um, he's a great facilitator. He's getting his points. 
um, you know, the last three games, 30 points, 20 points, 32 points, and rebounds, 10, 12, 14, and then assists, 5, 8, 7. Um, so it's been working like a charm. Uh, this is a great matchup for him. If we uh, see what the Pistons are allowing to small forwards, uh, they're 20th in points allowed, 14th in rebounds allowed, and 12th uh, in assists allowed. So I like this uh, matchup for him. Here's what I'm also really excited about. If we look at the block steals section, which is a, has a huge um, effect on fantasy score. Um, look how active he's been. Last two games, I mean the last game, four, uh, three blocks and a steal. Game before that, three steals, two blocks. Um, he had one game with just one block and then another big game, four blocks and a steal. That's huge for fantasy score. Um, and uh, the matchup, uh, they don't, they're not like allowing a whole lot of blocks. They're second um, in blocks allowed. But um, if we look at that small forward position, they're 17th in steals allowed. So I just, I love this matchup. I love Scotty right now. I'm kind of just staying in the flames with him. I've been, I've been uh, taking him. A lot of times the fantasy score isn't available when we're making these videos. So um, I end up catching him late and we uh, put it in Discord, but he's been cashing a lot lately. Um, in fact, yeah, if we just take a look at this particular stat line, um, yeah, see, last three games been very consistent. It's working great having uh, having Sh uh, Schroeder coming off of the uh, Schroeder. Forgive me. Someone can tell me in the comments uh, how to say that right. Um, but having him come off the bench has been huge for Scotty. All right, now let's get into to, uh, Tobias Harris. I'm very excited for this play. Um, let's look at this over under. All right, so we got a 225 over under with the Bulls actually favored by one point. Um, but uh, Tobias has been killing it lately with Embiid out, and um, I believe he's still out. Um, do I have these? No, I'm sorry, I went to the wrong one. Okay. So Tobias, again, let's look at his PRA first. He's been doing well the last four games. Um, consistently uh, putting up a decent amount of points and uh, rebounds and assists as well. And um, he's got a great matchup here. Um, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, so um, Chicago is, uh, uh, to power forwards in particular, they're 30th in the league in rebounds allowed. Uh, 16th in points allowed, 16th in assists allowed. So I like him to be able to uh, be pretty active with that, but he's been a beast lately with uh, his defense um, stepping up for the team. I mean, look at that last game. Uh, four steals, three blocks. Um, I know he's been a little bit quieter in this uh, section um, in the uh, games before that, but I do like this matchup with Chicago being 13th in steals allowed, 12th in blocks allowed. Uh, they're very vulnerable to uh, good defenses. And um, I think this will be a good game. And I think this line is um, is right in that sweet spot. I, I expect him to go over it. If we uh, take a look at his fantasy score, what he's uh, been doing as of lately, I've been riding this out. Like, yeah, see, even though the, the PRA and the uh, blocks and steals aren't always there, he's kind of consistently, because you know, with the, the fantasy score, um, for rebounds, um, you get 1.2 points per rebound instead of just one. And for assists, you get 1.5 points per assist instead of just one. So it's not exactly like the PRA. You get a little bit more value there. So I've been really loving playing um, fantasy score options for basketball. Um, now let's jump into this uh, uh, Boyan Bogdanovich play. Two and a half assists. Um, I like him to go over this. It's a low line. And um, his uh, his last couple of games, um, he's he's hit this. Um, it's just three. Um, that's why I'm taking it. Uh, I think he can hit this. He had six in the last game against Boston that did go to overtime, so he had a little bit extra time to get it done. Um, but then back here, he had four against Brooklyn. Um, but this matchup against uh, Toronto, uh, they're 24th in assists allowed. So I like him to be able to just get three in this. And um, I want to jump on that value. I believe, let's see. Yeah, um, Daily Grind has this um, 
choose to go over. Their uh, odds to hit percentage is uh, just under 53% to go over. Um, we got BetMGM with a minus 135 for this to go over as well. So I like taking a shot on this play at just three assists. Um, he's, he's good in that department. Um, he's just like a good uh, team player. Um, he knows that veteran they brought in to kind of just like facilitate everybody and make sure everyone is uh, doing what they need to be doing. So I think three assists is not a lot to ask for him um, tonight. And so I'll be taking that for more. And then this last play, Andre Drummond, over 39 and a half fantasy score. I kind of had to um, think about this one for a minute, but I, I really actually do like this play. Uh, we already talked about the over under here. Um, 225 over under with the Bulls favored by one. And um, if we look at Drummond, um, he had that one spike game against Atlanta. Um, this is, uh, what am I on right now? Points and rebounds. They don't have his PRA up. So I'm going to kind of break this down with points and rebounds. Um, but we still, if, I, if I'm correct here, I, I believe uh, Vucevic is still out. Um, I'll double check on that for you real fast. Yeah, he is out tonight. Left groin bruise still. Um, and we have Patrick Williams with a game time decision. Now, last game, um, when I was... Uh, <laughs> when I was trying to take his uh, points and rebounds, he fell short. Um, he only played 21 minutes instead of 39 in this game before. Um, but he still uh, grabbed 16 rebounds and seven points in 21 minutes. I expect him to play a little bit more tonight. Um, and this is a good matchup for him. With Embiid still being out as well. Let me double check on that. Oh, yep, so Embiid is out. So with Embiid out, um, I like him to uh, to go over this. If we look at what they're allowing uh, to centers, um, they actually allow a decent amount. So uh, the the 76ers, and we've talked about this before, where the way Embiid plays, centers do have an opportunity to get in there and get some points. Um, they're 20th in points allowed, and that's with Embiid on the floor. Um, so the pace of the game might be a little bit different without Embiid. Um, I still like him to uh, go over this fantasy score line. If we look at um, his blocks and steals, um, he, he's been kind of a beast in this department as well. Um, over his last four games, he's had a couple spike games. He had three steals and two blocks against Atlanta. And then back here against the Spurs, he had five steals and two blocks. And I'm noticing kind of a trend. You know, he has like an um, off night, on night, off night, on night. He just had that lower minutes game, and I expect them to uh, give him a little bit more minutes tonight with this matchup. And um, the 76ers are actually not a very fast team. Um, I was just uh, checking this out here. Um, what do we got? So um, if we look at pace, um, so it says the 76ers have a middling offensive tempo ranking 15th in the NBA with 102.9 possessions per game, um, while the Bulls average the sixth most, pos most uh, possessions per game. So I, um, I, like, I like what I'm seeing here, and I think that uh, fantasy score-wise, he can get this done. I'm going to be taking this. Um, I feel like I just got to go back to my guy, even though the, uh, the particular prop that I took him in last time, I started with his rebounds, and then I pivoted because I like the matchup for points. Should have just stuck with his rebounds because he hit those in 21 minutes. He got 16 rebounds. Um, so, yeah, if you look at that fantasy score, even in this last game, um, where he only played 21 minutes, he still was like, you know, like eight more minutes, he would have been over that, I think. The way he grabs boards and uh, his, his uh, defensive ability, um, and uh, he can score the ball. So these are the four I'm going to be rolling with. I'll uh, recap it one more time for you. We got Scotty Barnes over 51 and a half fantasy score. We got Tobias Harris over 36 fantasy score. Boyan Bogdanovich over two and a half assists and Andre Drummond over 39 and a half fantasy score. And um, that's going to do it for us, guys. I uh, just wanted to get these four plays out for you. And um, if you are interested in checking out um, the, uh, the daily grind tools that we use here, um, uh, they're our official partner. Uh, they have all sorts of really cool um, tools here. Um, this is uh, the DFS Optimizer. Um, we've, uh, again, I mentioned we've partnered up with them. So they're giving everybody 25% off. Um, if you use our promo code backdoor, 
And um, we did have someone saying that the promo code was invalid um, in the comments. And I reached out to Daily Grind and they said there is a possibility if you have already been a user of Daily Grind, uh, this, this promo is for new users. So um, that might be the issue that we ran into there. Um, I'm not totally sure, but you can reach out to us again at bdfantasysports at gmail.com. We'll try to work that out for you if you are a first time user. Um, but this is for new users. They get 25% off with um, promo code BACKDOOR. There's a link in the description of the video if you wanna check out these tools. Um, what we're gonna be getting into tonight, uh, we like this other tool, um, the, the uh, correlation tool. I'll pull it up here. Um, you can see uh, you can see the success rate. Um, this is monitoring the slips they put out and the rate of success. And this is like a volume. This is like a volume tool. So it's like the type of thing where um, over time, as you play these slips, um, I I play it in like one unit. Um, you know, I play like one unit at a time. And over time, it just they just end up hitting. And you can see like the success rate is just on a steady incline. Um, and you can you go in here and they'll um, they'll build out like um, a full on six man slip for you. Um, we'll get into some of these in tonight's NFL video, but they literally just give you everything to take on a six man slip um, and it's all correlated. So they see like they, they believe Will Levis will go over, you know, 217 and a half. Um, so what does that mean for his receivers? Well, which, rec which receivers are most likely to benefit from that? Um, they think uh, DeAndre Hopkins will be one of those. And same with CJ Stroud going over on his passing yards. They believe that Nico Collins and Noah Brown will be, um, you know, uh, beneficiaries of Stroud going over. So it's a really cool tool. It does it all for you. Um, if you're interested in checking these out, uh, use code BACKDOOR. You'll get 25% off of any of these tools on their site. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it. And um, yeah, we appreciate you. Um, I know we were having some fun. The videos were a little bit long last night. It was so late. Jordan and I were slap happy, still uh, coming off our carb crash from all this holiday food. So um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching guys and we will uh, catch you in the next video.